Hey guys, it is time to work on my July prompt for my One Little Word album and this month we're getting messy. If you know anything about me, you know, I don't really love getting messy. It's not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, however, I do have a jelly plate and I do enjoy using it. I probably am not as messy as some people. Uh, I try to keep it as clean as possible, but um, I have already had uh, that sort of messy uh, session. So I am all ready to get started working in my album. But I am gonna show you, I did turn on the camera, I'm gonna show you all the fun I had uh, getting painty. So I am definitely no expert when it comes to this jelly printing. Um, <laughs> this is probably the third time I've had a play with it. Uh, and so I'm kind of just going for it. I think the thing is with this prompt, I had put it off because one of the things that I find uncomfortable about this kind of technique is being able to shut off my overthinking brain. Uh, there is no way to kind of well, certainly for me, I found there is no way to sort of think your way through this process. It is kind of a little bit more intuitive and just kind of about letting go and enjoying the process of it rather than having expectations of what the outcome is going to be. I certainly don't have enough experience in this medium, in this process, uh, to be able to predict or like attempt to get something particular uh, I really am just kind of going going for it and and learning as I go so when I try something and it doesn't work or if I try something and I like the result that I get then I attempt to do that again I'm basically just starting I started with uh, kind of covering the whole plate with paint and as far as the paint goes I have some that is good paint for this some that isn't uh, it's just kind of a hodgepodge of paint uh, really all sorts of different brands and and that sort of thing but uh, what I have done is just picked out a really limited color palette uh, whenever I've tried this uh, jelly printing uh, the more colors I use the less I like the result so uh, to try to mitigate that I've just kind of gone with a pink and yellow color scheme so I've got a couple of different pinks a couple of different yellows although they are actually pretty similar uh, so similar I forget which one I'm using half the time uh, and just some plain white acrylic and that's really all I'm using I, I don't necessarily clean the plate each time I don't clean my roller each time I'm just adding layers as I go so I started by creating a few pages I thought that I would need four um, for my album so I figured as long as I create at least six pieces um, I would have enough to choose from in the end you'll see I end up with way more than that because some things don't work some things I like better and I carry on doing it but I start each piece generally by covering the whole plate like this uh, maybe a couple of times just to get a kind of base layer down and then I start using a few more techniques with these stencils. So some of my stencils are more masks like these ones here from uh, they were old ones from Studio Calico the butterfly ones. Um, I've got a whole range of different stencils and some of them are I'm creating shapes with these little crosses these more kind of abstract shapes uh, confetti kind of shapes. I just picked out a few, not my entire stash. Again, I wanted to limit those kind of choices that I'm making uh, to give me something a little bit more consistent if I'm getting a few different uh, pieces. Obviously, I'm not working in three by four cards like Ellie did for hers. Um, so I'm not making one 12 by 12 sheet that I can cut down. I'm going to end up having to cut from, like I said, I, at this point I didn't know what format it was going to take but I figured I would need at least four sheets of paper uh, and as for paper as well I'm just really using regular printer paper I think it's about 160 GSM um, because I don't know what I'm doing I'm not going to waste a whole lot of money using sort of expensive card or anything like that so it's just regular printer paper it sort of works for me as long as I don't go too crazy with the layers and the paints I think from this session there was one um, 
one paper that I ended up ripping because I've got too much paint on there um, and I did I'm not letting anything really dry significantly in between each of these layers I don't know if you're supposed to or not to be honest um, and so I'm just kind of going for it and throughout the session I enjoy it more and more so the first few pages that I do feel awkward um, and not right <laughs> not not what you're supposed to do and then eventually I kind of um, relax my way into just just going for it and just seeing how it turns out I had a couple of stencils there just from, again, the same regular printer paper. Um, I liked in Ellie's video, she had showed how she had a few sort of paper stencils like that. Um, not even stencils, they're more kind of masks. And so I did do that and I enjoyed some of those more basic shapes. Again, I've just got a couple of circles and it worked really nicely. So I'm building my way up from more sort of basic shapes and now I'm adding a few details I guess you could call it with some of these more uh, detailed stencils the smaller sort of shaped stencils uh, and as I'm going I'm kind of cleaning my brayer off onto the side and also cleaning the actual jelly plate itself occasionally and like this one here and I liked the result so I kept it rather than um you know throwing it away it just sticking an extra bit of paper down onto there just helped clean off some of that paint and I liked the result so I kept it <laughs> so that's what I mean I've got no I've got very little control anyway there are some things I know will work and some things I hope will work um, but mostly for me it's this exercise in letting go of control which you know is nice for a change I definitely don't love all of the results that I've got and the ones that I know I don't love I will throw away but mostly I'm just trying really hard not to judge it at, in the moment. So I can always judge these later on. And I guess that's the, the beauty of making more than one is it doesn't matter if it's not right, using air quotes there. Uh, just going for it. And I can always see and adjust the results later on. I mean, I do know I'm going to be stamping onto these. So I am trying to make them... Uh, not too dark. I know I know I'm gonna want to stamp words onto that and I'm I'm thinking I probably want to do that in color. So I am trying to add uh, white layers when things get a little bit dark or trying to keep those backgrounds kind of a little bit lighter in color and adding the details with some of these darker colors. Like I said, I picked out similar colors anyway, so none of them are super dark. There is a darker pink in there um, and I'm trying to use that one sparingly, uh, but otherwise that's really all I'm going for is when things get too dark, I'm adding a little bit more white into it. Uh, but otherwise trying to keep things sort of as light as possible. I'm also not a big fan of mess, so I probably am keeping things a little bit more controlled <laughs> uh, than maybe the technique would allow. Uh, it, like I say, I'm very new to this, so I'm sure with a bit more practice I will loosen up a little bit. But overall, I really enjoyed this process, apart from the first sort of few awkward starting moments, minutes. Um, this is fun. It's it's fun thing to do. And I probably all up spent maybe 45 minutes to an hour kind of just playing with paint like this. And it was. It was a fun time. Something very different from what I would normally do. No computers involved. Uh, and that is always a fun change. And so I've let all of these dry uh, for a, a few days, to be honest. I did this in the middle of the week and kind of just left it aside. Uh, and I kind of think that for my album, I'm going to use some of these page protectors. They've got a four by six slot at the top. And then this little, I think it's, it looks about two inches, two by four at the bottom. I figured that would be a good idea to write my little notes in. Um, so I've got two page protectors. So I really only need four, four of these pretty things. Um, and I have a bunch to choose from. So that's probably going to end up being the hardest part of this is narrowing it down to four. Um, like you would have seen in the video, I've kept everything really similar. So I've used only um, 
you know, I think three or four different kind of paints. So they're all the same colors. They all use the same stencils, um, but they're all super different results. So I am going to get started, pick out um, four of these, trim them down, and then I'm going to use my favorite little uh, Honey and Spice uh, Alpha set from Heidi Swap. I don't believe this is available anymore. Sorry, it's such a good one. Uh, and I'm going to stamp directly on here. I don't want to use black. I know Ellie stamped with stays on on top of this mixed media, so I'm going to experiment with some of the inks that I've got. I'm hoping I can find a colored ink that will stamp nicely on here. Fingers crossed. Obviously, I've got plenty of um, plenty of pages to experiment with. So I have to start by picking out the ones that I want to use and I'm kind of creating three piles I guess, definites, maybes and definitely nots uh, until I get my four and then I'm going to go ahead and trim these down into four by six pieces uh, and I'm just kind of eyeballing where those are. I generally find one piece um, of the actual A4 paper that I know I want to be part of that 4x6 card and then I kind of trim around that. I don't necessarily go straight in and cut it down to 4x6 like this one here. I have to trim um, a couple of times to get it right. But I guess the reality is, is with all of these things is there is a little bit sort of less control in that uh, process as well. So I've got my four cards and I want to experiment just a little bit and see if I can find um, an ink that stamps on here. I kind of wanted to stamp with pink. I pulled out a few different inks. The Catherine Puller one worked pretty well. Um, it needs to sort of sit on top of all of that acrylic paint. I also wanted it to be sort of as solid as possible. So in the end, I have gone with this um, pigment ink. Uh, from Studio Calico, it's the Color Theory ones. I don't know if those are still available or not. I think the color is called Flamingo Pink, something like that, maybe. Um, the pad is a little bit, a little bit dry. This is kind of an old, older pad. Um, and so I am having to sort of stamp it quite hard to get um, a decent coverage on those stamps, which does mean it gets really messy. The stamps get really messy. The block gets really messy. Um, so I did grab my stamp chamois there just to try and clean up a little bit as I go. I definitely wasn't doing a great job of cleaning, so I will go back afterwards and clean all these stamps down properly. But basically this is it. I'm just going to stamp out four little I mean they're not even quotes they're just kind of sentiments to me I didn't put a whole lot of thought into this beforehand I just kind of did it intuitively as I went thinking about it while I was stamping I do find the process of stamping like this fairly uh, like meditative I guess and so it did give me plenty of time to sort of think about what the next thing that I wanted to stamp was so I'm going to stamp on all four of them I had thought maybe I would just do two, like kind of one for each spread, but I decided that I would stamp on all four. So like I said, I'm kind of making it up as I go along. Now this ink, um, it stamped really well. Uh, I did think I would need to leave it for a little bit to dry afterward, so I did. Uh, but before I carried on, I didn't actually test whether it was dry or not. And you'll see it's not. It's not even remotely dry. So I flip it upside down and leave marks all over my desk um, and all over some other bits of paper. But uh, it, I didn't ruin anything. I got lucky with that. So uh, my suggestion would be is if you're going to use a pigment ink like this on top of... Um, mixed media or acrylic paints like this you're really going to need to give it some time to dry not just the sort of five minutes that I did anyway. So on my last one my stamp chamois is getting totally covered in pink as are my fingers and my block and all the stamps. Um, I do love this uh, alpha set just for getting that kind of random look to the words. You could definitely replicate this by using more than one alpha set. Um, I'm just lucky I managed to grab this while it was available. So while I, while I gave that the uh, 
five or so minutes to dry, definitely not long enough. I trimmed down a piece of, again, just regular printer paper to four inches uh, and ran that through my typewriter for kind of corresponding thoughts to go with my kind of quotes. And I'm just gonna slip these into the pocket. So I'm adding my mixed media piece at the top and my little thoughts down the bottom. And this is when I realized that, ooh, I'm spreading pink ink everywhere. Uh, the first two I added separately and I decided to add the second two here just glued back to back so they wouldn't slip around in the pockets and you can see I got ink everywhere. Um, I do pull these ones out and glue them together as well but it's a little bit messy. So I definitely have not left these long enough. I might actually end up pulling them out of the pocket but now that they're in there I think they'll just sit there and dry. Obviously I've uh, transferred a bit of ink to my desk and to uh, the little white bits of paper but given how messy this is I kind of I don't mind it's fine uh, this was a fun prompt to do um, I always love these kind of note to self kind of ones I did enjoy making the messy kind of um, backgrounds I have plenty left over as well so uh, this was a fun one plus kind of flat because we we're already halfway through the year and my album is getting um, pretty chunky <laughs> so I will have to bear that in mind as I carry on through the rest of the year try and keep things flat Diane anyway I hope you are doing well and staying safe um, I would love to know how you're getting on so do leave me a comment down below otherwise I will see you again really soon thanks for watching guys bye